I'd say without agriculture education, there'd be um, a lot of people that graduate from high school and really have no knowledge of anything in agriculture. You don't know how your food got on, your, on the table. You don't know what organic labels mean at the grocery store. You don't know what all natural really means without agriculture education. Um, you'd have no idea how the grass got in your yard. There's so many things that people take for granted in life and just say, well, it's just there. But in agriculture education, you'll learn why it's there and how it got there. People want to know what ag education is. I mean, they want to know, like, like what could you possibly teach? It always comes back to, uh, you, you teach about cows and stuff like that. Um, my first semester here, most people I met were from the Chicago suburbs. So I quickly understood, well, if you live in a Chicago suburb, you, you wouldn't know. I mean, you have no reason, you, you really have no reason to know except the food that you eat is thanks to ag. Ag education is a great major for for people who, who didn't grow up on a farm. Uh, you don't have to be from a farm by any stretch of the imagination to be successful in ag education. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're looking for a lot of depth and diversity and, and we're looking for new avenues uh, to get students excited about ag education and get us into the field of ag education because we do look ahead and we're concerned about uh, being able to fill all these positions that we're going to need to fill in the future. I feel like ag education in high schools helps students realize the importance of the environment and all of the things that our land can help us produce. This past summer I've had the opportunity to work with a local organic farmer and he basically just grows a bunch of vegetables and sells them at the farmers market and local restaurants. All the products are coming straight from our local area and that's really cutting down on greenhouse gas emissions too. When we're talking about being an ag teacher, of course, there's a, a variety of things that the teachers are involved with, you know, ag business, horticulture, uh, some programs they're studying aquaculture, ag science, ag mechanics, ag technologies, um, so there's a wide variety of things. So as a, as a teacher, you have to be prepared to teach in all those areas. So uh, in your preparation, we tend to take a more generalist approach and you get a broad uh, background in a, in a as much of agriculture as we can provide for you. There's always the bio biological part, which is animals, plants, DNA, to chemistry, being able to identify N, P, and K, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Those are major in the ag field. And the periodic table, you need to know your periodic table when you're in agriculture. In physics, there's you know force, uh, machines, which gets into mechanics. Girls in ag are not afraid to get dirty, especially when working with grease and oil and you know metal and all kinds of things. You know, you have to be able to be open-minded and even dig in dirt. Some people hear the term ag ed and they think of just like farming. Uh, it's not just farming. Agriculture involves so many different aspects of our normal and everyday life. Just for example, just here we're focused on landscape design and horticulture. And that's one industry or one segment of the industry. You've got aquaculture, hydroponics, ag science careers, ag mechanic positions or jobs. So I mean there's endless opportunities in the ag field. To make a difference in the world or um, more narrowly my high school that I choose to teach at, I want to persuade kids that if you're not a good athlete, I mean, if, if you're not a math kid, um, you can go to FFA events and do a broad variety of things. I mean, there's so many things you can do. There's a, a lot of desire amongst the leaders of agriculture in Illinois to expand the number of programs we have in those urban and suburban environments to give every student an opportunity to experience ag education because, again, we think that the the SAE component, the FFA component, in addition to the classroom experiences that they get is a wonderful um, learning experience for them and gives them a great background for the, uh, the careers that they face ahead. So it gives them some real practical experiences to build on as they go into their careers. I had about three job offers, I believe, whenever I graduated. There's a huge demand for people to go into the teaching profession, especially ag ed. There's a lot of jobs out there. In ag education, there's always a shortage of teachers, so going into the ag education field is a really smart option because the outlook for careers is really good. You'll definitely be able to find a job.